Ethiopian Highlands, Wikipedia Audio The Ethiopian Highlands is a rugged mass of mountains in Ethiopia, situated in the Horn region in northeast Africa. It forms the largest continuous area of its altitude in the continent, with little of its surface falling below 1,500 m, while the summits reach heights of up to 4,550 m. It is sometimes called the Roof of Africa due to its height and large area. Most of the Ethiopian highlands are part of central and northern Ethiopia, and its northernmost portion reaches into Eritrea. In the southern parts of the Ethiopian highlands once was located the Kingdom of Kaffa, a medieval early modern state, whence the coffee plant was exported to the Arabian Peninsula. The land of the former kingdom is mountainous with stretches of forest. The land is very fertile, capable of three harvests a year. The term coffee derives from the Arabic kawa and is traced to kaffa. The highlands are divided into northwestern and southeastern portions by the main Ethiopian rift, which contains a number of salt lakes. The northwestern portion, which covers the Tigray and Amhara regions, includes the Semian Mountains, part of which has been designated the Semian Mountains National Park. Its summit, RIS Dashan, is the highest peak in Ethiopia. Lake Tana, the source of the Blue Nile, also lies in the northwestern portion of the Ethiopian highlands. History The southeastern portion's highest peaks are located in the Bale Zone of Ethiopia's Oromia region. The Bale Mountains, also designated a national park, are nearly as high as those of Semien. The range includes peaks of over 4,000 m. Among these are Mount Tulu Demtu, which is the second highest peak in Ethiopia, and Mount Batu. Most of the country's major cities are located at elevations of around 2,0002,500 m above sea level, including historic capitals such as Gondar and Aksum. The Ethiopian highlands began to rise 75 million years ago as magma from the Earth's mantle uplifted a broad dome of the ancient rocks of the Arabian Nubian Shield. The opening of the Great Rift Valley split the dome of the Ethiopian highlands into three parts, the mountains of the southern Arabian Peninsula are geologically part of the ancient Ethiopian highlands, separated by the rifting which created the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden and separated Africa from Arabia. Around 30 million years ago, a flood basalt plateau began to form, piling layers upon layers of voluminous fissure-fed basaltic lava flows. Most of the flows were tholeitic, save for a thin layer of alkali basalts and minor amounts of felsic volcanic rocks, such as rhyolite. In the waning stages of the flood basalt episode, Large explosive caldera forming eruptions also occurred. The Ethiopian highlands were eventually bisected by the Great Rift Valley as the African continental crust pulled apart. This rifting gave rise to large alkaline basalt shield volcanoes beginning about 30 31 million years ago. The northern Ethiopian highlands contain four discernible planation surfaces the oldest one being formed not later than in the Ordovician epoch. The youngest surface formed in the Cenozoic being partly covered by the Ethiopia-Yemen continental flood basalts. Contrary to what has been suggested for much Africa planation surfaces in northern Ethiopia do not appear to be petty plains nor edge plains. The predominant climate of the Ethiopian highlands is tropical monsoon, which in general is cooler than in other regions at similar proximity to the equator due to elevation. Because the highlands elevate Ethiopia, located close to the equator, this has resulted in giving this country an unexpectedly temperate climate. Further, 
these mountains catch the precipitation of the monsoon winds of the Indian Ocean, resulting in a rainy season that lasts from June until mid-September. These heavy rains cause the Nile to flood in the summer, a phenomenon that puzzled the ancient Greeks, as the summer is the driest season in the Mediterranean climate that they knew. The Ethiopian highlands share a similar flora and fauna of other mountainous regions of Africa. This distinctive flora and fauna is known as Afromontane but from the time of the last ice age has been populated with some Eurasian flora. The habitats are somewhat different on either side of the Great Rift Valley that splits the highlands. Physical Geography At lower elevations, the highlands are surrounded by tropical savannas and grasslands, including the Sahili and Acacia savanna to the northwest, the East Sudanian savanna to the west, and the Somali Acacia comifora bushlands and thickets to the northeast, east, south, and through the Rift Valley. The highlands themselves are divided into three distinct ecorjuns, distinguished by elevation. The Ethiopian montane forests lie between 1,100 and 1,800 meters elevation, above the lowland grasslands and savannas and extends to areas of similar habitat in Eritrea, Sudan, and Djibouti. This woodland belt has several natural plant communities, but has mostly been heavily grazed and converted to agricultural use now. Kala is an open woodland found at lower elevations, and dominated by species of Terminalia, Comifora, Boswellia, and Acacia. Wanyadiga is a woodland found in moister and higher locations, dominated by the conifers Afrocarpus gracilia and Juniperus prasira. The lower portion of the Harana forest is a distinct woodland community, with an open canopy of Warburgia ugandensis, Croton macrostichius, and Cyzicium guineas, and Afrocarpus gracilier, with wild coffee as the dominant understory shrub. The southwesterly winds bring rainfall from May to October with moisture from the Red Sea coming in from the east year-round. Fauna at these elevations includes the endemic Harwoods Franklin, Prince Ruspoli's Turaco and Yellow-throated Seed Eater, along with the Djibouti Franklin in the Djibouti Hills that are in the same general E. Korjun. The Ethiopian montane grasslands and woodlands is the largest of the highland E. Korjuns, occupying the area between 1,800 and 3,000 meters elevations. The natural vegetation was closed canopy forest in moister areas, and grassland, bushland, and thicket in drier areas. However these hillsides have good fertile soil and are heavily populated, largely by farming communities so most of the region has been converted to agriculture with a few areas of natural vegetation remaining. Urban areas in this e Korjun include Ethiopia's capital city and Africa's fourth largest city Addis Ababa, the Amhara region capital Bair Dar with its island monasteries on Lake Tana, the old walled city of Harar, the spa town of Ambo, Asela in the Arsai zone, the trekking center of Dodala, the lakeside Debrazayat, the largest city in the southwest Jima, the market town of Nakemt, and the capital of the Tigray region, Mekele. Awash National Park is a site for birdwatching. Remaining woodland in the drier areas contains much endemic flora and primarily consists of Podocarpus conifers and Juniperus prasira, often with Hagenia abyssinica. In the Harana forest, pockets of moist, Closed canopy forest with Pouteria and Olea are draped with lianas and epiphytes, while above 2,400 meters, a shrubby zone is home to Hagenia, Schefflera, and giant Lobelias, species which can be found on the East African mountains further south. The evergreen broad-leaved forest of the Semian Mountains, 
between 2,300 and 2,700 meters elevation, is dominated by Cyzygium guineans, Juniperus prasera, and Olea africana. As the lower slopes of the mountains are so heavily populated even the high-altitude moorlands are affected by human interference, such as the grazing of livestock and even farming. There are two protected areas of high moorland, Bale Mountains National Park in the Southern Highlands, accessible from Dincho, and Semian Mountains National Park, accessible from Gondar, which includes RAS Dashan. However even these parks are losing habitat to livestock grazing, while the lower elevation parks are even less secure. These slopes are home to a number of endemic reptiles, birds and animals including the endangered Walia ibex and the Gelata baboon, whose thick fur allows it to thrive in the cooler climates of the mountains. These two species are only found on the northern side of the valley while another rare endemic the mountain Nyala is restricted to the southern side, and now survives at higher altitudes than its original habitat as the lower slopes are heavily farmed. More widespread mammals found here include the mantled Gereza, which is also threatened as its habitat disappears as is that of many other mammals of the highlands such as olive baboon, Egyptian wolf, African leopard, East African lion, spotted hyena, caracal, serval, common diker, and red river hog. Birds include Ruepel's chat, the finch and cobra saran, white-winged fluff tail, and blue-winged goose. The farmland is home to many butterflies, especially Papilio, Caraxini, Pyridae, and Lycinidae. Above 3,000 meters elevation lie the high Ethiopian montane moorlands, the largest Afro-Alpine region in Africa. The montane moorlands lie above the tree line, and consist of grassland and moorland with abundant herbs and some shrubs that have adapted to the high mountain conditions. There are several endemic animal species one of which, the Ethiopian wolf, is critically endangered. Other endemics include the big-headed mole rat which is common on the Sanity Plateau in the Bale Mountains. The mountain Nyala finds its way up to the high moorlands although it is more common at lower elevations. Wintering birds include widgeon, shoveler, ruff, and green shank. Geology Climate other fauna in the area also includes Ardvark, Eagle, Ethiopian Wolf, Egyptian Wolf, Gelata, Secretary Bird, Nubian Ibex, and Marabou Stork and Ethiopian endemic species such as the Shrew, Crocidura herina and the narrow-footed woodland mouse and Menelix bushbuck, which is a subspecies with long, dark fur. Ecology Fauna Coordinates, 12 degree 3200 and 41 degree 2380 slash 12.53333 degrees north 41.38556 degrees east slash 12.53333, 41.38556.